Let's do it, guys. Right. It's morphin' time. So I just saw Sonic the Hedgehog 2 directed by Jeff Fowler starring Ben Schwartz, James Marsden, Tyka Sumter, Natasha Rothwell, Adam Pally, Shamar Moore, Colleen O'Shaughnessy, Lee McDowell, Idris Elba, and Jim Carrey. This film is of course a continuation of the events of the first film and introduces the fan favorite characters Knuckles and Tails. I'll start out with the positive stuff first. Knuckles and Tails were great characters and interesting in their own story and when they were in scenes with Sonic as of course was Sonic and Jim Carrey playing Robotnik. There are a few action scenes here and there that were pretty cool. The effects were really great too for pretty much the whole film. This is where my positive opinions end for the movie. Now for the negative stuff. First off, Every single human character in this entire film aside from Robotnik was absolutely terrible and you didn't give a single damn about any of them no matter what. Next, the comedy in this from all characters fell flat and failed hard. Every time someone would say some sort of joke, it was absolutely painful to sit through and hear it. The whole wedding scene in this movie was absolutely pointless and didn't really serve any kind of point to this movie at all nor were the characters in that wedding scene. The security guard who they introduced in this movie was terrible too, I can't even remember his name, that's how bad he was. James Marsden was great for the second half of the first film as a character and someone who was a great partner to Sonic, you didn't see that here at all. Aside from all the positives I said earlier, this movie failed hard on about 75-80% to 80 of everything else in this film. It's such a shame that the live-action debut of Knuckles and Tails had to have all this boring and pointless nonsense in it with a whole lot of failed comedy one-liners and other jokes too. Unless you are a die-hard Sonic fan or really had interest in seeing this film, I would advise waiting until it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray. This movie was really hard to sit through and I kept hoping it would end soon which was really disappointing because I really enjoyed the first film a lot, I really did. April is not off to a good start with Morbius just being okay and now this being much worse. Hopefully Fantastic Beasts The Secrets of Dumbledore brings stuff that makes a really great and enjoyable film cause that's not what I was able to find here. All in all, this film was a huge failure for most of it and to have this be a complete 180 from the first film featuring the start of Knuckles and Tails is embarrassing to say the least. By the way, before I finish this review, I want to remind all of you that there is an end credit scene that is actually pretty cool. With that said, I'm going to give Sonic the Hedgehog 2 a score of 3 out of 10. There is my review, you're welcome. Hey guys, my friend Justin has a YouTube channel where he does lots of movie reviews, gameplay videos among other cool things like his entertainment road trip series, so please go check out his channel, it's called JJ Lomas Entertainment you won't be disappointed in the slightest, the link to his channel is in the description below. And as always, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to join the Laundromatty B Express. Thanks for stopping by guys, later.